Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve NCERT Maths Class 7th Chapter 1 Integers Exercise 1.1 Question Number 7. So friends, without wasting any time, let's get started. This one says, in a magic square, each row, column and diagonal have the same sum. Check which of the following is a magic square. Now you can see squares are given and we have to check which is a magic square. Now what is a magic square? First we'll know that. Alright, so like I make a square here. Alright. And for demonstration I divide this thing like this and like this and like this. Right. Now you can see when some numbers are going to be written inside these boxes, each of these. You can see like these numbers are filled. Same. Uh, now what is a magic square is that when you add the uh, when you add the rows of it, okay, suppose what is the row? Row is the horizontal part or uh, goes horizontally in the square. So you can see this row suppose if you add. Alright, if you add three numbers of this row, you will get a sum. Alright, if you add the three numbers of the second row and if you add three numbers of the third row, what will happen is the sum will always be the same in a magic square. So you have any number here, any number here, any number here. You add them and suppose sum you get in all of them you get 5 as the sum. So they add up and they uh, are a magic square but not completely. Why? Because we have to check two more things in a magic square. What are those? First uh, the second one is a column. Column goes vertically like this. So this is a column. Again, same thing applies to columns also. You add the three digits or three numbers in your column and all three of the columns you add. So the sum will always be the same. Suppose here you add, you get 10. Here you add, you get 10. Here the third one also you add, you get 10. So you get 10 everywhere. Still, you can move on. And now on to the last one. So that is a diagonal. What is a diagonal? Diagonal means going from one end to the other. Suppose from here I go till here. This makes a diagonal. From here I go till here. This makes another diagonal. So these are the diagonals. Again what happens with diagonals? You add them. So you add 1, 2 and 3. This one diagonal. Right. You add 3 of these numbers. You get the same sum. Here 1, 2, 3. You add them. You get the same sum. But friends if any of these, uh, uh, any of these needs are not fulfilled. Then that square is not a magic square. Alright, so let us get solving on to the first magic square and you can see first of all we'll let us add the rows. Rows go horizontally. So first one is 5 minus 4, uh, sorry minus 1 and minus 4. Again you solve them. So minus 1 and minus 4 minus 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, 0. Here we have minus 5 minus 2 that is minus 7 and 7. Minus 7 and 7 is again 0. Here we have 0 and 3 minus 3. So you can simply ignore this 0. It has no value. And 3 minus 3 is also 0. So sum becomes 0 only. And now on to the columns. So for the columns you can see suppose columns go what? Vertically. Right. So 5 minus 5 again 0 you ignore this 0 so you get still you get 0 then minus 2 minus uh, minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3 again minus 3 and 3 will be 0 once again here we have minus 4 uh, and minus 3 first we are adding the negative ones so minus 4 minus 3 again minus 7 7 minus 7 is also 0 right and now on to the diagonals which is the last one so let us say we go this way first right so you can see minus 4 minus 2 will be minus 6 right minus 6 okay so minus 4 you add them so you get minus 6 okay and now if we move on to the next one you can see the diagonal here 5 minus 2 although it is coming different but we'll still do the last diagonal as well so minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 and 5 minus 5 is 0 so you can see everything is coming same except this diagonal which we had solved what is it coming minus 6 
so do, uh, does it uh, really become a magic square i have told you it isn't going to be a magic square we you just cut it because one even one sum comes different then it is not a magic square now on to the next one we have the rows so 1 minus 10 and ignore the zero so you get what uh, minus 9 is your answer all right minus 9 in the first row now on to the second one minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 minus 7 minus 2 is again minus 9 only right last one we have minus 6 and minus 7 so this adds up to minus 13 minus 13 and uh, plus 4 that is two different signs so you subtract them so you get again 9 and minus 13 is greater so minus sign see all the three are coming same so we can still keep on going uh, let us move on to the columns now right so in the columns what we have columns go vertically so 1 uh, minus 4 minus 6 is 10 and 10 and 1 sorry this is minus 6 and minus 4 that is minus 10 and this one is minus 9 right now minus 10 and minus 13 again uh, sorry minus 10 and minus 3 that is what minus 13 minus 13 and plus 4 is again a minus 9 then ignore this 0 so minus 7 and minus 2 again minus 9 still all the three of them are coming same so we can move on uh, now let us do the diagonals so first of all let's go this way right so ignore this zero you have minus six minus three that is minus nine you have this way now so minus seven, uh, minus three minus seven minus ten and plus one is minus nine right all done and you can see all of them give us the same sum that is minus 9 so this means that this is a magic square or not it is a magic square all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then take good care of yourself bye bye